When you're looking at improving yourself, whether it's personally, personal growth, or in terms of work, your performance appraisals, what do you usually focus on? Your weaknesses, what you're not good at. And the more you focus on your weaknesses and all the things you don't do well, the more you're guaranteed to excel at being mediocre. It's very common when we are looking at ourselves and sometimes when we're looking at others to look at what is it that we don't do well. We focus on all the things we screw up. Our society conditions us to be that way. And we focus on our weaknesses. In performance appraisals in most organizations, they focus on all the things you don't do well and your improvement plans are based on that. And what that means is if you focus on everyone's weaknesses and how to get them to improve their weaknesses, you are going to create an organization that is amazingly mediocre and amazingly average, not one that excels. There's an alternative. The Gallup group has brought out a research into your strengths and building on and playing to your strengths. You can get a book from them called the Strengths Finder 2.0 or for leaders, the Strengths Finder for leaders. And what this does is it gives you a code to do an online survey to identify what are your five strengths out of 33 that they've identified. And then you build on those strengths. It says what's going on there. Does not tell you what your weaknesses are because that is not relevant. If you are weak at something, you find someone else who has that as your strength, as their strength, and you work with them. I've seen amazing teams of managers and assistant managers who have complementary strengths. What one does not do well, the other does, and they build on each other, and and so are far far better. If you've got a team, what are your strengths as a team, how do you complement each other and identify what you need to do to fill in the gaps, not to find others just like you. And the thing is, if you build on your strengths, you get better and better and better. The thing that the, uh, the whole Strengths Finder framework talks about is the only weaknesses you need to address are what they call fatal flaws. And those are those weaknesses that if you don't improve, it will directly impact your work. For example, if you work uh, independently, who cares if you run late to get to to things? You know that uh, that doesn't matter because you're working alone. Versus someone say who's a receptionist at the uh, front desk needs to be on time. So that's something that they need to work on. So. Only if it's a fatal flaw do you need to work on it. Fatal flaw doesn't mean it can't be improved. It just means it needs to be, be worked on. Probably will never become a strength, but at least you can take it out of the level of being a fatal flaw. And the more you focus on your strengths, the more effective you're going to be because that's what you're really good at. Why spend time? Why spend huge amounts of energy focusing on all the things you suck at? Because you're never going to be great at that. Build on your strength and you will skyrocket.